Hi, this is Sherry from SherryandChris.com. I um, hope that you're having a great week so far. I wanted to bring to you a, a healthy breakfast recipe. If, if you're like me, you um, have had many a time where you wake up in, on a Monday morning and you have no idea what you want to make for breakfast. And you're tired, maybe not very creative. Um, you want breakfast to be quick. You want it to taste good, and you want it to be healthy. And if you're like me, you're so done with cold cereal and frozen waffles. Um, with a little prep over the weekend, you can make your breakfast more interesting and less work for you. I've been making breakfast for a long time for my family. I've made over 9,000 breakfasts, so you can figure out how many years that is. Um, and I still get the breakfast time blues. The last thing you want in the morning is an argument with your kids because they don't like breakfast. Um, if you can, when you make breakfast ahead of time, you can um, be ready uh, with a heat and eat healthy breakfast uh, that everybody loves. I'm going to demonstrate a recipe today that's healthy and delicious. It's easy to make even for a kid. It uses common, ingredient, common ingredients that you find in the fridge and pantry. The total, total cost to make is about $2.50. It's high in fiber. It, you prep once and you, eat it mo you can eat, most, eat it most of the week. You can vary the recipe so that you can change it up. It stays fresh in the fridge. And you can also have it as a lunch box, midday, or uh, evening snack. So what is this magical food? It's baked oatmeal. So I was going to show you how to make the recipe. In my bowl, I've already put two cups of oats, a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Um, I'm also going to add about, I have a half a cup of chocolate chips. I'm going to add half of the chocolate chips. And you can vary the sugar in this recipe. If you want less sugar, you don't even have to add chocolate chips. And these are dark, dark chocolate chips. Mix that up. And then I have frozen berries. You can use fresh, but uh, most of the year I can't get good fresh berries, so I usually use the frozen, which are just fine. I usually add about half of the frozen berries into the recipe. Mix that in. And then I place my oatmeal, my oat mixture into an oiled pan, baking pan. Mix it up a little so everything is combined. And then I take the other half of the chocolate chips. Again, if you want lower sugar, you don't have to add chocolate chips. Place those on top along with the other half of the berries. I place those on top of my oat mixture. Kind of mix them around so they're spread out evenly. And then I have some banana, sliced banana, which I place on top as well. And you can place this neatly as I'm doing it very quickly right now so that you can see how it comes out. And then using the same bowl, I take two cups of milk, which um, I use an almond milk. You can use a dairy milk or a dairy-free milk. Um, I have a third of a cup of maple syrup. Again, I vary my sugar. Sometimes, I mean, you don't even have to add maple syrup because it does come out very sweet. I have one egg. Um, I use uh, coconut oil. You could also use butter or um, sometimes I use earth balance and I melt it. Add that to your mixture. And then a teaspoon of vanilla. I whisk that up. As you can see, this is very quick. Once I get the ingredients set, I, um, this takes me less than 10 minutes to make. Um, I whisk up my liquid ingredients and make sure that everything is combined. I pour it over the mixture. And I'll move this out of the way so you can see. I'm going to pour it over the mixture so that it soaks into the oatmeal. And um, so here it looks before it's baked. And I'm going to place this into the oven, 375 for 30 minutes. And the magic of video, it's already done. <laughs> 
Um, this is what it looks like when it comes out. And again, I recommend making this ahead of time so that you have, uh, all you have to do is heat and eat uh, for breakfast during the week. Let me know, what are some of your favorite heat and eat breakfasts? Uh, leave a comment below um, so you can share with my community. We'd love to hear any great ideas that you have for breakfast. And if you found this video was valuable, um, pass it on to a friend. We'd really appreciate it. Like it if you like. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Again, this is Sherry from SherryandChris.com. Thanks for joining me with um, uh, where we made baked oatmeal. Thank you.